This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. It's a pleasure to see all you wonderful faces here to celebrate this union between my beloved daughter Scarlet and my, <coughs> my son-in-law Vincenzo. Vinny, you are a man to be admired and feared, which is why I chose you to take care of my daughter. <coughs> You've done a lot for this community, and Tatosa respects you for your contributions. Scarlet, you are your mother's daughter. Every time I look at you, I see your mother in you. I know she'd be happy to see, <coughs> see this day <coughs> come true. May you both have a prosperous marriage, full of love and blessings. Salut! Salut! For more, there's me. Are you nuts? Jerk off. Was here. 
she wouldn't like us being alone together. Yeah, she'll be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Why? <sighs> I know what it's like to take the blame for someone you love and be uh, sent away for it. I'll do it again for them in a heartbeat if I have to. There's no excuse for what Johnny did. No, he expected better. We were all clueless. We didn't know anything about Maria or Elena. If I had, you'd know. Come on. For ten years, you didn't know where your couple was up to? Lorenzo made the reports about Johnny's whereabouts. I knew it. It's my fault, too. I should have paid more attention. I'll say. You know, I still have those letters you wrote. And believe it or not, they kept me sane when I was locked away in the can. There was that funny one. The one where you burnt the Christmas dinner at Johnny's parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Made me laugh. Kept me smiling the whole day. Julia, you gave me the inspiration to keep going. You did that. I'm here for you, cara mia. Just like you've been there for me. I always will be. I know you will, Giancarlo, but Dita... Dita will come to her senses when the time is right. Stop blaming yourself for the past, all right? I'm heading back out there, and Julia... Remember what I said? I thought I made myself clear. You didn't think I'd find out about what you did to Danny? Stay out of dangerous affairs, Julia. You mean dangerous old men affairs? Papa, I'm not backing down from this. I've earned the spot to be capo. Doesn't matter what I am, I deserve this. You honor the code! That's what you're supposed to do! Doesn't mean you get a seat at the table with the big boys. This is not the lifestyle you want to take part in. You want to be a wise guy? Fine. But you'll get yourself hurt. It's too late for you to care now. Don't you remember? I've been cleaning up your dead bodies with Wanda since I was 14. Instead of going to the movies with my friends, you took me out for target practice in the woods. I didn't have a normal childhood like Angelo did. So I say, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for a very long time. I don't know how to get through to you, but I will find a way. Are you threatening me? You want to go to war with me, Pop? We can go to war. A war you'll have! But don't say I didn't warn you. You're no daughter of mine. I never was.
nobody touches my wife. hasn't even been 24 hours yet, and you're already embarrassing me. You didn't have to kill him. Oh, you're gonna cry over it? Screw you. <laughs> I plan to. In your dreams. I'm sleeping alone. Oh, uh, you will do no such thing. We have to consummate our marriage to seal the deal. So you're sleeping with me, right? I'd kill you first. I'd love to see you try, princess. Our husbands! Aren't you supposed to carry me over the threshold? <sighs> Just one of your many toys You don't own me Don't say I can't go with other boys Let me make one thing clear to you I didn't ask for this I'm only doing your father a favor You are my wife now Which means you will no longer Get to do the things that you're used to doing you will carry yourself like a lady and be a loving and nurturing wife. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. I did already. Problem? <laughs> you're a firecracker, I'll give you that. But slap me again. And you're gonna go crying back to daddy fingerless.
save you. Captain, coming to the rescue. Ow. Alina, do you want to help me in the kitchen? No. I'm making French toast. I don't eat French toast. How about blueberry waffles? I don't like blueberries either. What do you like? Mommy used to make me chocolate pancakes with whipped cream and sprinkles. That's a lot of sugar, kid. Chocolate pancakes coming right up. Hey, Bruce. What brings you here? Seeing Scarlet Mary Dwarf to you no longer needs me. I wanted to know if your enchantment service is over to you. You don't have to ask, Bruce. We make a great team. Alright, Alina. Hi, Bruce. How far is she holding up? Pretty good. She likes everyone but me, though. <laughs> oh, I can't blame her. She doesn't know the truth. In whatever thing that happened, she's uh, processing. Bruce, this is Dennis. Dennis, this is Bruce. Sup? Oh, what? Uh, Julia, you ready to go? Going where? Dennis is taking me and Elena out to the park. If I would have known you were coming, I would have rescheduled. So uh, I'll catch you later. Oh. Okay. I think a bunch of flowers and balloons are going to win me over. Try again. That's a short dress. You going to tell me what to wear, too? <laughs> you can wear whatever you want. I know how to aim my gun at whomever stares at you for too long. Ugh. Whatever. I'm taking your credit card since Poppy cut mine's off. And I plan on maxing it out. Spend my money. What's mine is yours, Principessa. Ugh. Don't call me that. Baby girl? No. Mi amore? Would you stop it? My name is Scarlet. Just Scarlet. I'm leaving. There's been quite a stir in Tartosa since Julia came home. These last few weeks have been eventful to say the least. I feel like Julia is judging me because of what my father has done. I try talking to her but she ignores me. 
I don't think it's fair. We're still warming up to you, Giovanna. If I were you, I'd choose your words wisely on what's fair and what isn't. Excuse me? Personally, I have nothing against you. But you coming in here and marrying Angelo is very questionable. For your information, I came to Tartosta on my own terms to broaden my horizons with my career. Angelo approached me and pursued me. He was already seeing someone when he met you. Que importa? He left her for me. I can't control what the man does. Ladies, please! We have to set our differences aside and be there for each other and our men. This is the reality now. Speaking of, how has things been between you and Angelo? We've been discussing opening up a center of the arts for the children in the Ferreroni. It'll be hard to tackle since he's always gone. And I know it comes with a lifestyle, but it would be nice to have him home every now and then. I'll have a word with Giancarlo to make sure he lessens Angelo's workload. Sulani is beautiful around this time of year. You and Angelo should take a vacation. And Scarlet, my dear, I know it's been only a few days since the wedding, but how are you? I feel betrayed by Papa. He didn't consult me. He just threw me into this marriage like I'm some sort of pawn. Arranged marriages is a common factor in the Mafia. But I have to ask, did you and Vincenzo, you know, consummate? Tina! It's okay if you don't want to tell me, but a marriage isn't complete until you do. I guess we're not married then. Soon the love will grow. Vincenzo is a good man. He's done an honorable service to the people of Del Sol Valley and Tartosa. By killing his father. Rumors. Caramilla. I guess he's not all that bad. He did surprise me with something nice this morning. Excellent. That's a start. Give him some time and you'll see. Dennis? Dennis! Where are you, you lying scumbag? Dennis! Julia Santos, my name is Detective Louisa Caldon, and this is FBI Special Agent Nicola Silva. Where's Dennis? We want to ask you a few questions. I don't know nothing, and I didn't see anything. Question someone else. Where were you on the day of Johnny Santos and Maria Santos' death? Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. Oh, you're the pig that's been watching me. Don't think I didn't see you at my husband's funeral or the black car outside of my house. I know you put Dennis up to this. I got the proof, that filthy rat. I can explain. I, I think we should talk in private. I'm not going anywhere private with you. All right, we're going to play it your way. You like making deals, right? Fatch on the table. Give me a waiter. You fight one of my best fighters. Three rounds flat. You win, I give myself up and tell you everything you need to know. I lose. You take your badge, you keep Dennis out of my gym and get out of my life. Done. Are you crazy? When? Tomorrow night. I'll call it the bell of the brawl. Bets will be in place for you and my fighter. Proceeds will go to charity. Of course. I'll be there. Tesoromia, you've been awfully quiet lately. What's on your mind? I'm fine, Norma. No, 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 no. You are not fine. Come talk with me. There's a time where things have to end. This lifestyle is not for me anymore. I'm overwhelmed. Nobody chooses this life, Dita. It chooses us. Sometimes we have to deal with the cards we are dealt with. And 
Now Julia, coming back. Ah, so there's the problem. All I seem to think about are the rooms. When I hear her and look at her, my soul aches. I can't shake off how I feel. How do you feel? I'm afraid that they are true. And I'm going to lose Carlo to her. There's no proof of what happened between them. Tartosa is a small town with busy bodies. You heard gossip from other people. It's all just G-talk. What are you saying, Nona? I'm saying be kind to Julia. You have to let the past be the past. Talk to her and hear from her side. You can't avoid her forever. She's been through a lot in ten years. She needs us more than anything. When will it end? The killing, the money, and this life. When will it end? When my corpse is in the grave. We're older, mi amor. It's time we leave this life behind us. We can start new. It'll be all right. Forget about it. I took a blood oath for this lifestyle. I'm not leaving anything behind. What about us, Carlo? What about our future? We don't have much time. I don't want to keep doing this anymore. Tita. Tita, baby, come on, don't. <laughs> I never wanted any of this. <laughs> what do you want me to say, huh? I, I mean, look at you. You're the daughter of the most notorious gangster, Donnie the Shark Lombardi. Do you think you had a choice? My father was captain for the Tucci crime family. I watched him die in front of me by the hands of the law. You know what that did to a kid like me? I'm only doing what's right by giving those pigs hell. And you know what? They can't stop me. You know why? Because I'm Giancarlo Latour, the Don of Tartosa. Those pigs want me under the jail. They'll have to kill me first. You're blinded by your own pride. Avenging your father by being a Mafia Don is not going to bring him back. Hey, you shut up! Shut your trap, Tita! You know nothing about my father, all right? What I do know is that you'll die and I'll be alone. This time for good. I pray for you every night, Carlo. I hope you wake up and realize before it's too late. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> What's so important that you have me come all the way over here from the other side of town in the middle of the night? Ah, plant backfired, Angelo. You're supposed to be made man that night. 
Oh, all this stuff about me being a brat, it was just an act, huh? No. That part is still true. But this pushes us back further than intended. If Johnny was alive, things would have been different. I didn't think Vinny would be involved in this. Well, you're not talking about killing the man, are you? Giancarlo would have my head on a platter if I dared to. Besides, we got bigger fish to fry. What are we gonna do? We come up with a new plan. Cars are too risky for transport. I'll hire a pilot to steal the cocaine from the factory and burn it down when I'm done. That way she'll have no coke lab to produce from. I don't know, Pop. Many some people get hurt. Don't you think you're taking this a bit too far? East Tartosa was supposed to be our kingdom. Julia took it for herself. She'll flip the area into a cocaine empire and make at least 70 million a day. We have to take it back from her before she succeeds. She crossed the line with me, Angelo. I show no mercy to anyone that crosses me. She wants a war, a war she'll get. Oh, it's hard drawing an elephant. I can't draw it the way you do. You have to practice more. You'll be a pro in no time. I guarantee it. Uh-oh. Who can that be? <laughs> hmm. Dita, what brings you here? May I come in? Of course. Where's Elena? Elena, come down here. There's someone I want you to meet. You have a beautiful home. I can see the feminine touch. Thank you. Wanda helped me spruce up the place. Yes? Elena, this is Dita. She's family. Hi, Elena. I'm your godmother. You'll be seeing a lot of me. May I be excused now? Yes, you may. Did you really mean that? What you said? I thought I was done with helping children. But this one desperately needs my assistance. Before I offer any of my help to you, I need to know for my sanity's sake. Are the rumors true? Nothing happened. Elena's hair is a mess. Her clothes are too big. Put a dress on the girl for goodness sakes. Get her away from that stupid television. She needs to go to school. My God, get better food. She's a growing girl and... Thank you, Dita. Anytime, my child. Why did you call my father over? I don't want to see him. He's your father. Just hear him out. If I wanted to resolve issues with him, I wouldn't do it in front of you. You're my wife. You can do anything in front of me. You throw that word around like it's going to change something. It does. Why aren't you wearing the dress that I bought you? Green is not my color. Hey, Emilio. How you doing, pop-in-law? Hey, Vinny. Where's my daughter? Uh, she's upstairs getting ready. Dinner's waiting on us. Whoa. My beautiful daughter. <coughs> Look at you. Save it, Papa. I'm still upset about all of this. I did what was best for you. No, you did what was best for you. I told you before. I'm a grown woman, and I can handle myself. When? Were you ever going to stop living so carelessly? <coughs> At the age of 27, most women are married with children. 
This is not the 1950s, Papa. Things have changed. If I want to go out clubbing every night, that's my business, not yours. We are the mafia. Every time you walk out the door, there's a bounty on your head. If your mother was here, <laughs> she'd tell you this. Don't same. bring Mama into this. I can if I want to. She would be disappointed in you. Hey, that is enough, Mr. B. Insult my wife again, and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. This doesn't concern you, Vinny. Letty is my concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true husband. I'll take my leave then. Why'd you stick up for me? I chose to. Why'd you wear the dress? I chose to. A deal is a deal. Explain why you had me set up. Before I say anything further, don't be upset with Dennis. He was just doing me a favor. Don't tell me how to feel. I'll deal with him later. Now quit stalling. I want to know the truth. I've been an orphan all my life. There's conspiracies about my parents. I've been told many different stories that I don't know what to believe. I was told they died in a fire or a train accident. But the most bizarre of them all is that they were involved in the Mafia. And where do I fit in with your little orphan Annie story? Hmm? I got a DNA sample from you through Dennis. I ran tests in the lab to see if there's any link between us. And? The results came back a few days ago. We share a 25% match. 